Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 Nissan NV passenger van in SL trim, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2021 Nissan NV passenger van remains a favorite in the rekindled van market thanks to its strong engines, robust towing capability, and smart value-oriented pricing. With a choice of V6 or V8 engines, the NV Passenger can tow between 6,200 and 8,700 pounds. Inside, the seats that make up its three rows can be removed or configured in multiple ways, adjusting for cargo, carrying long items, or easiest entry and exit. Even the front passenger seat can fold flat for added versatility. And while its dash and cabin materials feel dated, the controls are large and easy to access and operate. The NV's limitations may dissuade some buyers, however. While its Ford, Ram, and Mercedes-Benz Sprinter rivals can seat up to 15 passengers, the NV offers room for just 12. The NV also comes with a bare minimum of driver assist features. Front and rear parking sensors are about as good as it gets here, and a rudimentary infotainment system, and only offers rear-wheel drive. Ford and Mercedes both offer optional all-wheel drive. But the NV fits the bill as an all-around van adept at carrying passengers and cargo and pulling a trailer or boat and does it at an attractive price. If you can live with some of its old tech and no-frills cabin quality, the NV Passenger makes a compelling option. The 2021 Nissan NV Passenger Van is a rear-wheel drive full-size van with seating for up to 12 passengers. It comes in one payload designation. NV 3500 HD and three trim levels, S, SV, and SL, with a choice of two engines. The S and SV use a 4-liter V6. That engine makes 261 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque, and it's paired with a 5-speed automatic transmission that sends powers to the rear wheels. The SL comes standard with a 5.6-liter V8. That engine makes 375 horsepower and 387 pound-feet of torque, and it's mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission. The base model NV passenger van is the S trim level. It has a starting MSRP of $36,860. The base S trim comes with three rows of configurable bench seats and essential features that include 17-inch steel wheels, power windows and door locks, keyless entry, power adjustable side mirrors, cruise control, cloth upholstery, rear view camera, 7 inch touchscreen display, and a 4 speaker stereo. The SV is the next trim level. It has a starting price of $39,310. The SV trim adds more meaningful features such as 17 inch chrome finished steel wheels, chrome exterior trim, power adjustable driver's seat, center console, passenger row overhead lighting, 5.8 inch touchscreen display, navigation system, Nissan Connect mobile apps, satellite radio, two additional 12 volt power outlets, two 120 volt outlets, a six speaker stereo, a security system, and rear parking sensors. The top trim is the SL. It has a starting price of $43,610. The SL rounds out the lineup with fog lights, heated extendable side mirrors, auto dimming rear view mirror, leather upholstery, leather wrap steering wheel, heated front seats, dual zone automatic climate control, front parking sensors, a tow hitch, trailer harness, and front tow hooks. Unless you need to stick to a strict bottom line budget, I say skip the base S trim and opt for the SV. While the S comes with a decent list of standard features, the SV offers more tech, comfort, and convenience, and a splash of style. For about $2,500 more, you can get a power adjustable driver's seat, center console, rear overhead lighting, navigation system, additional power outlets, more speakers, rear parking sensors, and chrome finish wheels, bumpers, and other exterior trim. If you need the V8 engine or want leather interior, however, your only choice is the top trim SL. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 Nissan NV passenger van. We're going to build and price out the top tier SL trim, but before we do that, let's do this. Let's check out the exterior colors. Let's check out the interior colors and fabrics. 
as well as check out the features, starting with the performance features, interior and cargo features, warranty information, connectivity features, safety and driver assist features, and also the accessories. And then we'll come back and do the build. Okay, let's start off by checking the exterior colors for the 2021 NV Passenger Van. There's only six exterior colors. Uh, this color here is Glacier White, Pearl White Tricoat, Brilliant Silver Metallic, Cayenne Red, Arctic Blue, and Super Black. We can also do a 360 spin of the exterior of this vehicle, so let's do that real quick. We can get a shot of the uh, this passenger van from all angles, and there we go. Let's move on. Okay, moving on, let's check out the interior colors and fabrics. This color here is gray cloth, and they're showing it on the base model S trim. Then it looks like they're showing us a different version of gray cloth, this time on the SV trim, which we can see at the bottom corner of the picture. Lastly, they're showing the beige leather of the top tier SL trim, and that's one of the main reasons why I would want the SL trim over any of the other models. This vehicle is already very plain. A little bit of leather will go a long way for this van. Okay, moving on, let's take a look at these gallery images, starting with the interior photos. Here's a great shot of the interior. They're calling it a mobile office, and as you can see, you can be quite productive in here. They even show that the front passenger seat can fold all the way down flat, and there's some space there where you can store some stuff right on top of the back seat. So that's really cool. The infotainment doesn't look like much. The instrument cluster doesn't look like much. But you're not buying this van to have all those things, most likely. This is probably why you're buying this van, because you need to seat a lot of people. They say there are 324 seating configurations. So here they're showing the HVA system, uh, and they're talking about the standard rear HVAC system. So here we can see the cooling vents for each row, and they say that's standard on every model. So that's really cool there. Here's a shot of the Nissan infotainment system. And yeah, for 2021, it's not looking like much. Here's a picture showing the underseat storage. And one showing the locking center console that's gigantic. That's a purse that easily fits in there. So that's a huge center console. Okay, here we are in the exterior gallery. They're showing one of the uh, Nissan NV passenger vans pulling a travel trailer here they're letting us know that hey you can use this for your business as well and they follow that up with another shot showing another hotel some kind of adventure place that is using this vehicle to transport uh, customers and things like that so it's definitely a fleet vehicle for sure if you're not using it for personal use it's definitely a people mover you can put the whole soccer team in there it's got rugged styling. You can take it out camping and canoeing. And all your stuff can fit in the back. Okay, so we went through the gallery. We went over the exterior colors. Let's jump over here to features, starting with the performance features, and find out all about. First up, you got two kind of engines. There's two choices of engines with this vehicle. The base model and the SV. So the S and the SV get the V6 engine. That engine makes 261 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque. If you get the top tier SL trim or you need maximum towing capability with this vehicle, then that's how you get the V8 by getting the top tier SL trim. This engine makes 375 horsepower, 387 pound-feet of torque. It's a 5.6 liter all aluminum engine. Depending on the engine that you get, you get a different transmission. If you get the V6, you get a five-speed transmission. If you get the V8, you get a seven-speed transmission. Maximum toy capacity is 8,700 pounds. Maximum payload capacity is 2,800 pounds. Here they're talking about some towing features of the 2021 NV passenger van, such as a tow haul mode, heavy duty radiator, you get a heavy duty battery and alternator, as well as tow mirrors. And I think those tow mirrors are only available on the SL trim. Also, you get a class four tow hitch receiver, they say this is available as a genuine Nissan accessory for the S and SV trims. Here's some towing accessories, such as a weight distribution hitch ball mount, uh, telescoping tow mirrors, and a trailer tow harness, a 7-pin trailer tow harness. Other features of the 2021 NV passenger van uh, would include a full-length 
fully boxed ladder frame, 14 inch disc brakes, and heavy duty comfortable suspension. Okay, so that was the performance features. Let's move on now, talk about the interior and cargo features. All right, let's talk about cargo space and exterior dimensions. Cargo space, they say behind the second row, there's 151.6 cubic feet of cargo space. Behind the third row, there's 89.4 cubic feet of cargo space. And behind the fourth row, there's 28.9 cubic feet of cargo space. As far as exterior dimensions are concerned, this vehicle is 102.8 inches wide with the towing mirrors. Those aren't, that's not extended. If they're extended, it's 108.6 inches wide. The height of this vehicle is 84 inches. Okay, let's move on, talk some more about interior features and learn some about the technology features. So right off the bat here, they're telling us there's 211 cubic feet of cargo capacity inside this van. It looks like several seats are moved. It looks like at least the second row is still in the vehicle. Don't know if that second row can come out. I'm assuming that it can. And that would offer up even more space if you needed to take if that second row could come out. Other features include overhead air vents, floor heater vents. That's super cool. There's a, a shot of some rear climate controls and rear power outlets. So when we talk about cargo space and seating, again, uh, this is a class leading 324 seating configurations that are possible for the NV passenger van. And I'm assuming that they're going to take us through some slides and show us some of these configurations. Here's one that they call easy entry with 10 seats. This one they call maximum leg room with eight seats. Here's a five seat setup for mixing it up with passengers and cargo. And then finally, yes, they do offer a two seat setup for maximum cargo space. Other notable interior features include 243 degree rear opening doors. Uh, they're wide opening that makes loading gear a snap. They also talk about a low step in and wide door openings again there down in the middle. So easy to get in and wide openings. Lastly, they talk about an integrated roof rack mounting points as well. Those are already available on the vehicle. All you got to do is put a roof rack on there, I guess. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about warranty information. Apparently, the 2021 NV passenger van has America's best commercial van warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles. They show everybody else, Ford, Chevy, Ram, and Mercedes. And apparently, everybody else is three years, 36,000 miles. So Nissan has everyone else beat by a lot. Here's some additional warranty coverage. You've got your safety restraint coverage, your powertrain coverage, corrosion coverage, and roadside assistance. Here they want to tell us about the rugged durability of this vehicle, such as the rugged suspension. Uh, if you have to be uh, in rugged extreme conditions, that's not a problem. And this vehicle is ready for just about any road. Okay, let's talk about connectivity features. And they haven't really started off by talking about any. They let us know there's a deep center console, there's underseat storage, and there's 120 volt and 12 volt power outlets. Those are not all standard. Just depends on what trim levels you get to how many outlets and things that you get with this vehicle. Here they're showing the Nissan Connect 5.8 inch touchscreen with voice recognition. This is the infotainment system. They're also talking about the available navigation package so you could have a navigation system. So yeah, not super heavy on tech. But they have some key things there. Here's some uh, notable features of that system, like the Nissan Mobile Partner. This is how you get access to some of your favorite apps. Uh, in the middle, they're showing the Nissan Navigation System. And then on the far right, they show the Bluetooth hands-free. So you can make phone calls, send texts, and stream music uh, via Bluetooth. Okay, so connectivity features, that was a short trip. Now let's take a look at safety and driver assist features. Here they show the zone body construction. Uh, looks very rugged to me. Below that, they tell us about the protective bumper that is at the height of most cars. So it helps protect passengers in the event of a collision. Uh, in the middle, there's a tire pressure monitoring system. And on the far right, there's an alarm system as well with an engine immobilizer. So here they're showing us all the airbags. So there's eight standard airbags. There's also vehicle dynamic control, traction control, anti-lock braking system, and electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. All these features are standard. Lastly, under this category of safety and driver assist features, they talk about the rear view monitor 
and the rear sonar system. That's your backup sensors so you know if you're gonna hit anything. Okay, so we went through all the features. We went over the gallery. We went over the exterior colors. Before we get to the build now, we're almost there. Let's just take a quick look at the accessories. So it looks like you can get some body side moldings, all season floor mats, and splash guards. Other exterior accessories, they've got a hood protector, body side moldings, that's a four piece set. They show the side window deflectors, that's a two piece set. We already know about the splash guards in the center. Uh, and then on the far right of that, They've got the telescoping tow mirrors, so you can get that as an option. I guess you can put that on any of the trim levels. Down here, they show us the, uh, starting from left to right, they show us the weight distributing uh, hitch ball, uh, the tow hitch receiver in the middle, and then the hitch ball mount class 3. So they've got a class 4 hitch and then a class 3 as well. They've got other hitches like a drop hitch. Uh, they've got a hitch cap. There's that 7-pin trailer tow harness that converts a 4-pin to a seven pin. They've got a trailer tow brake jumper sub, uh, sub harness. I guess that's to make sure the brake lights work, I suppose. And then also tow hooks. Okay, so we went through some of those accessories. There's a lot more accessories. We'll take more, we'll take a deeper look at those as we go through the configurator here. We're now ready to jump into that. So we're gonna spec out our SL. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is choose an exterior color. I'm not crazy about any of the colors, so we're just gonna leave it glacier white. And seeing that we have the top tier SL trim, there's only one seating uh, interior fabric color. That's the beige leather appointed seats, so you get what you get on that. And, you, and that's the same for all the trim levels. So under towing, we have the tow hooks and the class four tow hitch receiver as standard for this top tier SL trim. I guess we also have the trailer tow harness seven pin, the trailer tow brake jumper sub harness, and the telescoping tow mirrors as well. And seeing that I'm not real big on all the towing stuff, I think we're good here. Let's move on. So next we've got uh, body protection and what they're really showing us is just some accessories. Do we want the splash guards? Do we want a hood protector? I don't know about the hood protector, but I definitely would like the splash guards. And maybe the hood protector too. That way we can keep a lot of bugs. Hopefully that deflects a lot of bugs off of the windshield and, and things like that. So under styling, again, these are just accessories. Side window deflectors, body side moldings. Maybe the body side moldings might help because it looks a little bare down here by the rockers where you can see the stamped steel underneath the body. Let's see if the body side moldings will help with that. I'm going to say no because I didn't see anything change, so we're going to remove that. Okay, lastly, they have this miscellaneous category, which is surely just more accessories. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, and that's just license plate frames, valve stem caps, and so yeah, we don't need any of that stuff. That totally wraps up everything for the exterior. Let's move on to the interior. Okay, so here we are in the interior. There's really nothing to select. We've got the beige leather pointed seats. The rest of this stuff, honestly, is just accessories. But this technology category seems interesting. So let's take a look at that real fast. It's the Nissan vehicle tracking and recovery system. Eh, I don't think we really need that. What do they have for the safety and comfort? First aid kits, emergency road kits, things like that. Again, these are all just really accessories. And now they have a accessories category directly and honestly they got you know your carpet mats and your uh, all season mats and your trailer hitches and all that kind of stuff your license plate frames your seatbelt extenders these are all things that you can pick up at, at your local nissan dealer at any time we're not going to go through those let's move on to the summary okay so this vehicle is about 42 43 thousand dollars and change i think was the msrp and now it's 45,000 and we mostly nickel and dimed it with little things that you certainly didn't have to add to your build. Uh, this should be a vehicle that you could pretty much get MSRP for sure. Uh, yeah, so on that note, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. If you found this build and price review of the 2021 Nissan NV passenger van in the top tier SL configuration that comes with the V8 engine and the leather upholstery and the leather wrapped steering wheel and all that good stuff, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.